Welcome to another episode of Teach Me, where the pro players teach me how to play Tekken with their favourite character. Now, today's episode, we decided to go with Doomed Danny from America. Now, I don't know m too much about Lucky Chloe, so it's going to be very interesting to find out what he thinks of the changes, if they're buffs or nerfs. So stay tuned, remember to subscribe, leave a comment and to smash the like button. Let's get into it. Lucky Chloe. What's going on guys? got another episode doomed danny welcome on board hey thanks for having me i appreciate it it's a pleasure man it's a pleasure yeah. we're gonna talk about the lucky chloe season four changes but wait yeah. there's some more changes because the last video we did we done season three but we didn't do the, the other update so which it's it depends entirely up to you how you want to do it we could do season four then we could do season, the other season mid-season free stuff or yeah yeah we could do it yeah whatever way. Uh um, let's, I mean, we guys will go chronologically and just start with the season three or mid season three patches that they added midway. So it was actually kind of like right after we started or right after we did our video that they dropped another patch. So, um, yeah, if you want to start there, we totally can. All right, let's do it. Um, season, this, the uh, mid season free stuff. Let's do it. All right, for sure. So big thing. This is probably the biggest buff out of all of them. Um, two, two, her big, you know, the lucky, the just frame for the punish mm -hmm. they made that way easier now we're playing a little bit of latency so it's harder so this is a really really big buff for chloe because when they originally made it like it was really hard mm -hmm. but now it's much more manageable to hit the, the timing of this it's, it's actually in some ways like easier to hit it than not to hit it <laughs> mm -hmm. so if you were struggling to hit that first that's a huge buff um Another really big one that they dropped, and this one's more like gameplay, more oriented, is they made the down three plus four this this low that most Chloe's just kind of refuse to use entirely. Mm -hmm. They made all three hits of this natural, all the first three hits of it. So this is like really, really good, especially if it's like close to an end of a round, because now, you know, you got these, uh, you got this kind of like two way uh, goofy little string out of it where you can kind of make a nervous opponent freeze up, right? Um, with the highs and lows. Okay. Um, so they are technically all highs and lows, so you can stay ducking. But a lot of opponents, when I've been testing this, have been panicking because they've realized, oh wow, I'm getting hit by all three, all 15 damage of this low, you know? That's, that's a lot of damage for just one low. Mm -hmm. So um, so making that all natural is a huge buff for Chloe because um, you know it makes this move a lot more viable because people were able to just block in between it. Like after the first hit, they just go block and then you know the low would be basically nullified. But, so this is a pretty big buff for her and um, I'm happy to see them do that. That's super awesome that they make that low like more viable. Um, and then the last big one in between the two patches is going to be back one. That's going to be, they reverted it. So back in um, season one, if you remember, this was a full counter hit launcher. Yeah. Um, now it's a little bit tough. Um, it's a little bit tough to hit. There you go. So um, normal combo, it's kind of weird. You do a jab and then you do her forward jab string, but it is similar to how it was in season one. They gave her back a counter hit launching back one, which is really cool. So um, not a whole lot of usefulness just in general from neutral, but um, with a lot of tech trap setups, you might find um, if you're getting into more like in-depth Chloe stuff, uh, definitely going to find some usage for back one there because it has the range that this move has. It's just really good for only being minus 11. So. Um, Fairly, fairly safe, um, good counter hit launcher, and does give kind of a weird pop up stun. So um, um, I'm happy to see them bring that back too, because that that's really big for Chloe. So she she could really use like a long range counter hit launcher. So um, that's definitely big for her. So that would be kind of the big three um, from that patch in between, which are pretty substantial buffs. I think they listened to a lot what a lot of Chloe players were saying and worked off of that for sure. Okay, nice. I just want to ask one question. You see the back one? Did it not push yeah. them way up in the sky, but facing the sky before? Cause so, yeah, like, even on normal height, yeah, yeah. So, that's kind of odd that it, they kind of, I, I think it was like a shadow buff. Like, it didn't used to knock them back all the way that far, so, um, cool, which so. is kind of different. Yeah, yeah. It's funny you notice that because I did notice that it, it moves them maybe like a space bit further, and then, they, yeah, there's the full flop over, so... 
Um, unfortunately, in season two, they took away. It used to do a flop over at the wall, like a full flop over. It doesn't do that anymore. They took that away from her. So um, they kind of gave it back to her in neutral. But yeah, it doesn't do it at the wall anymore. <laughs> so the, so when you used to do jab, down forward one, back one, it doesn't work no yep. That's Yeah, why it doesn't I've been do a seeing. full... Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's yeah, why yeah. I've been seeing the, the free four instead. Yeah, exactly. Because us Chloe players were like, oh man, like why would we even do that? Because we don't get our Okazemi. You know, there's no real reason for us to do the back one anymore. So yeah, that's why you see the three four now because um, you get more damage and there's nothing you're losing or gaining from OP there. So, yep. Wow. That is, I can't even lie. See, I knew there was something different because when I was playing against Lucky Close in season four, yeah. I was like, oh, why did why are they doing that? Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. like, and then I was like, yeah. oh, okay, it makes sense yep. now because they can't do the back one. Now you told me this now, now it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yep, yeah, they they just took the Oki from it, which is you know it's surprising because like a lot of characters they still have that kind of Oki. I guess they didn't want Chloe to have it, but I mean she can't have everything. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Yeah. So are we we move on to season four changes now then? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do you want to start with the season four changes, or do you want? I, I have them up here too. It's up to you. Uh, it's up to you. I think we could go into uh, season four. Or it's entirely up yeah. to you how you want to do. You're teaching me, man. Yeah. You let me know. For sure. Yeah. Um. So season four brought like a lot of really good buffs for Chloe. Um. She's she's really um. When I first started playing her, you know, I'm like I'm a little nervous because like a lot of them on paper they don't seem very good. Mm. Um. But they really buffed her poking game. Um. And that's kind of the direction they want her to go because she you know she's very heavy poked down for one character so one of the biggest buffs that stands out to me from this season four is her down forward one change um so you might notice um this was one of my biggest complaints with chloe because a lot of characters you know they start their pressure with their down forward one and they stay in right like they stay close they you can't really get them off with the down forward like kazumi or something like that mm -hmm. with chloe it was not really possible because um, Chloe's uh, down forward one would keep them kind of far away. Mm -hmm. So what they did in season four is they drastically improved the, how close she is when she it's blocked and when it's hit. So she when she's close, if she just stays right, I mean like literally as close as you can get with the down forward one. Um, so that's a huge buff because Chloe is one of those characters that struggles with range and range pressure. So her ability to uh, stay in with the down forward one mm. is gr drastically improved in this season. And it's made playing her way more enjoyable um, as far as like consistently putting pressure on people. And then um, with that, I'll stick with the down forward one here. With the down forward one, they added the new string of down forward one three. So this is where things get interesting because this is like, <laughs> I love this change. This change is like huge. Like this, these two changes are like so much fun for Chloe because they expand on what she does well. So this move is like a natural, like mid low. So it's really crazy. Like if you get hit by the down forward one, the three is actually guaranteed. So, um, pretty huge for Chloe because, like, if she catches you moving, you're just in another, like, little mix-up, like, mini mix-up. So, uh, um, really, really cool because this will catch sidesteppers. Um, if you try sidestepping to the right, it will catch you um, trying to move out of, a, like, another down forward one. So, um, really, really strong poke game here for her. Wow. And it's only minus 11 on block from a down yeah. forward one yeah right from it yeah yeah and it's like a great round ender too like people <laughs> people are like oh they're just doing down for one to check me for ducky no down for one three and you just can't react to it at all it's pretty wild that's crazy yep. <laughs> okay cool so what what are other changes i know she has a quite a few and we have to discuss about the left twist and the right twist so that people yeah. are clear <laughs> on how to do this very clearly Yes, so uh, we'll actually go into so with left twist. I'm sure you're familiar if you're a Chloe player, you're familiar with the left twist, which is that down back three, or the easiest way to get back into it is down back three. Um, yep, down back three. So there's timing to it, um, which is like uh, if you hit four, or yeah, you hit four after the three hits. So a little bit tough time and you have to get used to it best way to do it is like look at her legs and look when they cross the second time and hit the four button as soon as they cross um so that's kind of the way i learned to do it there's a couple ways to do it or maybe right after she, or right after she says three four so you gotta listen to her count or like like one two three four you hit the four that's how she goes on the right twist it's a little bit tough 
Um, you gotta hit it in the rhythm. So you almost got it. You're so close. You gotta hold <laughs> Yeah. So why do I keep getting this move then? Is this because I'm, my timing's slow or too fast? Um, usually that means you're doing it too slow. Because that's, that's gonna be going into her scoot stance. You're doing it a little bit slow. One, two. So one, two, right after she says one, two, say, do hit down back four, like almost as if you were saying three, four with her, like in time. One, two, two. Oh, there you go. Oh. Perfect. Yup. Yup. So almost like if you were saying it with her, <laughs> you hit the button as you do it. Oh, yep. okay. So that's the easiest yep. way to do it is just one, yep. two, three, and it, I can't kind of get like a rhythm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It is like a rhythm game. I, that's one of the reasons. That's like my main appeal to Chloe. Is like she's a rhythm game character. But uh, um, yeah, so you you do it with the timing and you kind of listen to her. So audio cues help too there. So yeah, so like you're talking about with right twist, right? Like that is technically right twist. So if you guys saw on the passion notes, it's like oh right twists, you know, go into right twist. Yeah, and a lot of people are probably like, what's right twist? You know, how do I get the right twist? So that is technically right twist. Um, that's a new stance they technically added in season four for Chloe, but all it is is just a two move stance. Um, and that lets you get into two really cool moves actually that are highly rewarding. So um, you got right twist uh, four, which is gonna be, oh. so it's gonna be a mid launcher, which is in, un in uninterruptible or not interruptible, I guess I should say. Um, so let's say I hit you with these two hits and you try and press a button in between those you will get hit by that mid so it is completely no matter what you press you are going to get hit by that so that is a way for chloe to check her opponent for trying to move or trying to uh get out of the string which is very very good because it she had an issue where you could mash out of it prior and now this is like made her more her offense much more real um um, and much more scary, especially if your back's to the wall and you can't back dash out of that string. Um, and then she gets a pretty big combo because she gets the back turn Cali roll too. So, um, yeah, pretty, pretty big buff for her. And then the next big move for her is going to be out of right twist is going to be the three. So you do, uh, oops. So you hit four and then three. So this one's a little bit trickier. Um, so you do the right twist, kind of like how you're counting with the... Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Well, I'm positive. It's a little bit tough. Hard, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you do... If you look at my inputs, you do the right twist, just like how we were doing before, and then you hit three again right after it. So, like, there's no break. You hit right after the right twist. Oh. And that does, like, a double low. Three, four, five, um, six, oh, you're doing it in time. So you're doing it in time. You hit it, like, right after, so... So you can just oh. mash it out basically yeah yeah so three yeah like perfect that. yeah okay. yeah and this that is like quite fun you know i can't even yeah like <laughs> right <laughs> right right they they gave her like a uh, more rhythm games which i'm always a big fan of i think that's a, the, a lot of people's appeal to chloe so i think that's really fun for them to add and then like yeah as far as usefulness that is a phenomenal i mean look 35 damage right off of that like that's a lot that's a chunk of damage um to just be tossing out off a low so it's really good for freezing up opponents um i was playing in a, like a recent tournament set here locally and it was like uh, when you hit someone with it and like noticing how they react people freeze because if you look at the damage if you like hit me with that move or if you look at the damage that does like the the left twist four like if you see how much damage it's <laughs> like a huge chunk of my life bar so so it's like a huge chunk from lows and that's a really good way if you're a toy player to like really make your opponent panic and trying to like get or like mash or do something that make them fall into something that you like a down forward one or something like that um so really good at the wall especially because they can't move out of it and then on top of them adding that right twist stance, they actually just buff the damage straight out of that move, the lows. So it does even more damage now than it used to. So um, huge buffs for her on that front. Um, and I love that they're adding more to the rhythm game because that's always fun. <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure. Yep. Okay, what's the next changes? Um, Let's see here. We got... Um, so another big change, and this is one you don't really have to learn how to do anything. Just a really nice buff for Chloe is they buffed her down for 3-3's damage. So um, prior to season four, 
um, 2 2, which was like the 12 frame. This was doing more than her 14 frame, which doesn't make much sense. You know, you have this lower damage, you know, they should, this should be much more rewarding or easier to do, or there should be some benefit to doing the 14 frame punish. So now they're lined up. So they're both doing 35 damage. Um, and this actually coincides with her command grab because with the command grab, the guaranteed damage is with down forward 3-3. Three, three. So she's getting more damage off her grabs and more damage off her punishment. So that's really big for Chloe because that's like one of her biggest struggle areas as a character is like her punishment or was until they kind of rounded that out for her this season. And I think it's really fair the way they did it um, is making this much, much more damage because it was only doing like 25 before which is pretty bad for for a 14 frame punish so um so that's a pretty big buff for her too um yeah so that, that's definitely one of my favorites as well um and then going on to one more now that i'm thinking about it um this is this one's pretty huge for me because uh they uh the <laughs> yeah that so this, if you remember back to and forward to two, like the strings for Chloe, the two, mm -hmm. the ones that end in two, basically, this only used to knock down on counter hit. Now on normal hit, you get a knockdown with a guaranteed follow up. Um, oh, I don't know. So you can do while staying through. That's the easiest way to do it. 52 damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage from just the, from the jab string. Um, what's great about this is specifically with Chloe, and this is something I've been learning to do, is forward two, anything you do after that is guaranteed on counter hand. So whether you, whatever extension you do, so what you can do with Chloe, what they're trying to get you to do in season four, is throw out forward two in an attempt to counter hit your opponent who's like, it's a 17 frame move, you know, pretty fast. Um, in an attempt to counter hit an opponent coming in and that way you can uh get the free you know 52 damage from the uh four two two into you know while saving three so this is huge damage buffs for her because um it used to only knock down on counter hit so you only used to get it if they were mashing midway through the string now you get it all the time which is really big for chloe um and really rewards people fishing with forward two to counter hit because it's all natural on the counter hit string so um, really big buff for her there as well. Nice. Oh, all right. The yep. is, is, that ain't all the changes, is it? No, yeah, I got a couple more. Um, I just want to see um, one smaller one um, that a lot of Chloe players were complaining about. I'm sure you saw it on Twitter. And a lot of people were complaining about her Yeet Sweep. The, uh, I don't know, the running 3 plus 4, the <laughs> Hell Sweep. Mm. Yeah, 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 that. So this used to be punishable on hit at the wall. They took that away. So, you know, you remember how you used to just hit get a free getup kick? I don't know if you remember that with Chloe's. They, uh, you used to get a free low getup kick anytime they did it at the wall. And sometimes you would be able to just get up and launch them depending on what angle they hit you. Hmm. So in this season, if you were afraid of using that before, they buffed it. So now you don't ever get anything guaranteed. You can just back dash, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really, really nice for Chloe players because we could literally could not use that move because people would do a get up kick and punish it every time we would do it. So it was actually punishable on hit. So that's, that's really nice because if you can do that move instantly, um, you're going to have a really good time pressuring your opponent at the who's uh, who can't move because of that move. So. Um, I'm a big fan of that move and a big fan of that buff for them, for her as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, another one um, that I would like to point out too um, is the down forward four. This one's kind of silly. Um, this one, she got like a cancel. <laughs> so, so this one's cool um, specifically because um, that whole animation is a low crush uh, technically. Um, so if you kind of have a read that opponent's going to get a get up kick, but you want to commit to it, um, that's the biggest use I've seen for this. Otherwise, it's kind of like a joke move. Um, it's not going to have a lot of purpose, but, um, for Chloe, um, it's cool to have see her get some cancels like this because, um, um, this blow is actually pretty decent on hit. Um, it's like, I think it's like, what, plus two, I believe, or I don't know what you do. Oh, plus seven. Jeez, I think Buster for season two. So plus seven force crouch. So, um. That's really good. <laughs> if you can get your opponent, to, it, it, the only issue with it is it's range, so it's not used by a lot of Chloe players. But um, um, you know, oh, it's hitting pretty far there. I love that. Maybe they might have shadow buffed it, but in my experience, I uh, 
I don't have very good luck with that low if it's tracking, so I don't use it much, but it's cool if they give it a cancel because of stuff like that, where you can bait them into pressing buttons and then uh, counter hit them with like a back four. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. Oh, that was, I think that was, that's my pad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. You can press. Okay, for sure. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah, so, I mean, with, between all those buffs, I, I really do think, like, um, those are pretty much all the main ones that Chloe got this season. Um, you know, they, they kind of didn't go as hard with her as they did with some other characters because she got that midway buff. So, if you count all the buffs together, she got a pretty big, you know, patch. Um, but it really seems like they want people to, like, experiment with the, the twist, that twist. Um, and they want people to use that because of the amount of damage it's doing with uh, low. You know, it really does force a mix up if your opponent gets hit by that. Um, and it works on pretty much everyone. I've been testing that that low sequence on a lot of people. It, it is very good, <laughs> that, that left twist. Um, it is pretty hard for an opponent to deal with because of course you have the other options from that left twist. So they really want people to mix that up. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you for telling me the season four and yeah. prior season four. Season three, yeah. mid season three stuff as well. So like yep. I wanted to ask, what's the strengths and weaknesses of Lucky Chloe in season four for people that are either new to the game or they're you know they're players that have played Lucky Chloe from the previous seasons? Okay, for sure. Um so like Chloe, like prior her issue was like, oh, she wasn't very good at like keeping consistent poke pressure on. Like that's kind of what they wanted her to do, right? But she never was able to actually do it. So with the buffs in season four for like giving her a low out of the down forward one and stuff like that, she becomes a much stronger like uh, poke character, like really in your face poke character, because now you have to second guess whether she's going to do that low out of the down forward one um, before you, the opponent takes their turn. So that adds a huge amount of like mind games to her zero range pokes. So if that was something that you were frustrated with, which I see a lot of Chloe players were of where like, I didn't want to play, you know, I'd rather go play like, let's say Josie, who's like a little bit more rushdown. Mm. This allows Chloe to compete with that because now she has her own um, poke, really strong poke set of her own. Mm. So that's kind of where she shines right now in season four is like, she has this rushdown of like, uh, of quick pokes of down forward one three. That's, that's something big you're going to be using this season if you're a Chloe player. Um, um, and like, uh, a lot of other things like the left twist buffs and stuff like that they really want you to stay in your opponent's face so i guess like in the same sense that's also her weakness because um she doesn't she still struggles in the same areas that she really has um chloe's always been one of those characters where she's a little lopsided where she's very strong at like that close range but once you get out into like this range <laughs> of like two or three like character spaces away she really has a tough time because she doesn't have much that reaches, you know. Um, back one buffs are big. They're trying to fix on that, but like, I mean, even her like furthest frame or furthest like ranged mids don't reach. Um, so it is really big for her to like stay in the opponent's face because um, that's what they want her to do. So that's gonna definitely be her strength, and then her weakness is gonna be her, her definitely her range. Um, she still got good damage and all that. She still got. And she's got decent punishment now, so that's not really a weakness anymore. It's just going to be her long range and getting in. So if your opponent, if your opponent's playing someone like Jack or uh, or Giga, someone with like long arms that can keep you out, um, you're going to have a tough time getting in with Chloe, and that's probably always going to be her issue as far as uh, season four. Okay, cool. All right, last but not least, if the developers said, "Hey, Doom Danny." You've got one change you can do. <laughs> oh man, you can do one change of Lucky Chloe. Man, that so that's a tough one. Um, thinking like with Chloe, um, one of my favorite moves, and I'm a little bit. I think I might be alone on this one, or I might mean, not. Maybe many people agree with me. One of my favorite moves with her is going to be down forward three three. Um, a lot of situations, like if she's in rage, if she gets her rage drive and stuff like that, this will frame trap pretty well because it's 14 frames and it's natural. So getting people to the wall with this is like very strong because you can just splat them and it's natural at 14 frames. Not a lot of characters have access to something that fast that's natural in wall splat. So if it were up to me, 
for Chloe, I would like to see them make it much safer, like minus 13. <laughs> right now, it's minus 14, which is launch punishable by some of the cast, mm -hmm. and it makes it pretty tough to use. So for me, with Chloe, I'd make her a little bit more safe in general. Some of her more like unused options, like uh, this move, minus 17. Like There really is no reason for a mid full crouch launcher to be minus 17 um especially if it's not going to track consistently so like a lot of things yep that minus 12 like maybe make it like minus 14 or something but don't there's really no reason for a move like that to be launch punishable so biggest thing maybe make her a little bit safer she doesn't have to be super safe she doesn't you know she's still a risky character she can still have the like launch punishable hop kick and everything but uh, in general make her a little bit more safe would definitely be my go-to for chloe um, and maybe a grab mix up out of back turn. <laughs> That's the other thing. Maybe maybe a little bit of a mix up out of back turn, like Kunimitsu has two. Um, Master Raven grab, has it like, now. Yep, yeah, they gave it to Master Raven, right? Yeah, I was, uh, yeah. Don't yeah. understand, so, though. Yeah. I know, me neither. I had to play, I played a Raven player yesterday. Oh, man. Hey, I was so rough. bad to a Raven player. I, I was playing a Mortal <laughs> yes. XO, I, was, I, I got my arms oh, yeah. battered. I was like, bro. Oh. It's okay. I can't play. I can't play. I can't find Master Ravens at the minute. I, I need to learn. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely tough with her now. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's crazy. So like one. So based off of what you said, wouldn't you like free free to be? If it's all right. So hear me out on this one. So free free being hit confirmable. Yeah. Like because sure. right now it can't be hit confirmed the tool. So you have to you have to make that. You would have to make that that risk of doing down forward free yes you have to commit to it every time so if you did make it hit confirmable that would be awesome um when i bring that up actually a lot of people will say well, like why won't you just actually like make it hit confirmable so that is something i've considered i know the tekken team um they like to stray away from hit confirmable move, move so it might be like more likely that they might put it in not in hit confirmable but i would take either to be honest if that was hit confirmable that would be awesome too because she has the down forward three two as well mm -hmm. so if you know you didn't get the hit you can fish for the counter hit launcher with the two right so uh so that's really cool of chloe is like um she has that two-way kind of string out of it so either or would be a fantastic addition for her and if we're talking about like hit confirmable things specifically for chloe i talk about uh three four um another move that's like a counter hit ncc um pretty hard to hit confirm at the moment if they made the window maybe a little bit more wide and let people actually just sit there and confirm it um i think that would be awesome because it's minus 14 already um it'd be rewarding to players who like really take the time to learn how to hit confirm a like a counter hit move like that so i think those that would be a really cool addition for chloe for sure for sure yeah no i just think because obviously she's very like timing based i think it would be very good just to have a move like this like this is the only thing yeah missing. yeah i i i that's definitely something i agree with like i mean you play characters like shaheen with like down back two four like the rage drive and stuff like that but it feels like it feels really good to hit like a confirm like that mm -hmm. um if you added that kind of element to chloe i think that would be very enticing for a lot of players especially because people like to uh hit confirm things everybody likes to hit confirm things and it feels really good to hit a counter hit confirm and i think chloe like you said a rhythm based character kind of deserves something like that um even if you do keep it unsafe so yeah for sure all right cool man well doom danny thank you very much again for another episode of teach me i really appreciate it It was very very informative for the lucky chloe players especially the ones that are casual they they can they can watch this and learn a thing or two i definitely learned a thing or two as well so yeah man best of luck in tournaments and stuff like that and <laughs> yeah. yeah man uh do you have any like are you, you're streaming now or yeah so i i started actually streaming again um if you want to catch my stream i'm trying to stay consistent on it it's a, a doom danny that's twitch.tv slash doom danny and then on twitter i'm just doom danny with tv at the end of it so um either of those you can catch me there um i do stream um youtube stuff sometimes too i help you know i put out some kind of individual pieces of tech i like to post stuff that i find with chloe so if you like Chloe stuff, that's that's kind of my whole thing. Um, and Cooney stuff a little bit now that she's out, but um, for sure. Okay, cool, man. Well, thank you very much. If you look like this yeah. episode, remember to subscribe, leave a comment, smash the like button. Doom Danny, thank you very much, man, for your time. It was a pleasure, man. No, thanks. All right, on to the next Teach Me episode, you lot. Take it easy.